Welcome back to PowerBoltOne.com. Now that we've got our PTO mounted and our drive shaft on, we're going to move into putting on our rear motor plate and our rear bell housing. We'll go over the rear plates and the front plate and the rail kit in another video, but for right now, we're just going to get this mounted up onto the back of the engine. It's going to slide right over the dowel pins. Sit in place like that. We can run in three of the bolts because the rear bell housing only uses four. So we'll run these in like that. And the rear bell housing, it's a nice polished piece. It actually has provision for a drive shaft guard on it as well. We'll slip that up on like that. That started. That started. That started. And now we'll run our last one in. Okay, we'll just kind of run those down in there. Then you want to come back and make sure these are good and tight on the back. And that really completes the back portion of the engine where our rail kit is. This is going to sit on the rails when we put it into the stringers and it'll have a little uh, attachment off the back of it. Stay tuned and thanks for watching PowerOne.com.